Time for a Windows tip. Today we're going to show you how you can compress files and folders in Windows XP. You don't have to have WinZip. You don't have to have any zipping program installed at all. Finally, Microsoft has actually built compression into the operating system. Simple as this. Right click on the file that you want to compress or the folder and click Send To and you'll see that one of the items in Send To is compressed or zipped folder. If I select that, it's going to say, do you want to Right now I have zip files, but I'm going to, if you, by the way, if you have zip or some other program, you see it, it made it as a, uh, a WinZip file. If you have a WinZip or some other program installed, that will also show up and it'll give you the opportunity to make it a WinZip file. You can easily add a password to any of these files. In this case, it opens WinZip, uh, but even in Windows, it's a very simple thing to do by just double clicking and it'll open. I should do that. Let me do that again and say no so that we can actually make it a Windows zip file. For compressed to handle zip files, the association must be compressed. Do you want to designate as the application? Yes. And then I'm going to say yes to all. Now it's not WinZip anymore. And it'll be, uh, I can just double click it to add the password. Very simple. Just right click on the file you want to compress and select send to. Send to menu is always good to know. Go to techtv.com slash call for help and click on answers and tips to access our full tips archive. I'll show you someday about how to add stuff to the send to menu. In fact, I'll show you a really easy way to do it. But that's for another Windows tip another time.